Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this demonstration I'm going to look at the new System Centre Orchestrator 2012, which has just been released into beta. I'm going to call it SCO for short, as that's a bit of a mouthful. SCO was originally developed from the acquisition of Apalis uh, last year, and essentially is the glue in your data centre. It joins up all your system management tools, be they from Microsoft, like System Centre, or be they from other vendors like Symantec or VMware. It enables you to diagram and describe processes and put all the flow control in that you need to do repetitive tasks with. And in that way, optimize your data center and ultimately be able to take it towards being a private cloud. In my demonstration today, I'm just going to install the product. And to do that, I've got four virtual machines running, which you can see on the screen here. I've got my domain controller, the box where I'm going to install SCO. I've got SCVMM 2012 also running, which I'll be using in subsequent demonstrations, and I've got a Windows 7 client. So let's get started with the install. On this machine, it's a clean install of Windows Server 2008 R2. I've installed the application server role and the IIS role, as there's a web component to orchestrator. I've also got to have an instance of SQL Server somewhere, and I've installed that locally, as you can see here. I've downloaded the beta software and I'm now ready to run the setup. I'm just going to install everything as it's actually easier to have an installation of Orchestrator with everything on the one box. Accept the license agreement, click next. Choose the various components. The runbook server is the actual service that runs. The orchestration console and web service shows you what's actually going on on the server. And the runbook designer is where you design your processes. I failed the memory check here. But I'm using dynamic memory in Windows Server 2008 R2 Hyper-V, so I'm not worried about that. I need a service account for orchestrator to run in, and I'm going to use my standard one for this, SC Service. Just check that's OK. Now, that needs to be a member of local admin on this server. It also needs to have the policy set to run as a service. And my final thing I've also done is I've given it DB create and sysadmin privileges in SQL Server because that part of the configuration can fail in this beta installation of System Center Orchestrator. I now need to connect to my database, which is the same box I'm running on. I'm going to use Windows Authentication, I'm going to create a new database called Orchestrator. I'm now asked to create a management group, and it's set by default to administrators on this local machine. In reality, you'll probably have a domain group where your designers and your admin people will be able to um, access the Runbook Designer and use the Deployment Manager. We get some default ports here to access the web services. Specify the path. Get the usual summary and we're ready to install. So that installation has completed successfully. And I have the option to open the Runbook Designer when I'm done. So this is where you design your Runbooks. I've got a number of activities, each categorized by different tasks like system, scheduling, monitoring, and the flow control that's down the bottom here. But the real power of Orchestrator is its ability to reach out to other systems management tools, be those from Microsoft or the third parties. And to do that, Orchestrator will have integration packs. Now with this beta download, they're not currently included, so you have to go and get them from the previous version of Orchestrator known as Apalis. So if I go onto the Apalis uh, system center site here you can see this is where I download the orchestrator from but also down the bottom here is I can download a free trial of Apala 6.3 and when you do that you end up with this structure here and these are zip files and if I go into Apala 6.3 here and drill down you can see there are integration packs to system center so I've copied those across to my machine and unpacked them and now I can use them and to do that, I go to the Deployment Manager. When I open this, it's attached to my SCO environment. And you can see when I highlight integration packs, there aren't any. So now what I need to do is register the integration pack with the management server. 
and now I can add them in and I'm just going to browse to them and I'll take the one for Virtual Machine Manager for example open and I can add another one and I'll take the one for Operations Manager as well those are the two environments I've got on my data center here click next, click finish, accept the license terms accept the license terms and now you can see I've got these two integration packs set up I can also deploy those to the service and then to the designer now because they're on the same machine that's fine I could schedule this if I wanted to because in a production environment you might not want to take the server down while you're doing this hit finish and now you can see those integration packs are on both of the subordinate machines so we're done with that for a minute and now I just need to shut Runbook Designer and open it again to see those changes and now when I go back into Runbook Designer you can see I've got the two additional integration packs showing up here so I can create alerts, get alerts from System Center Operations Manager with Virtual Machine Manager look I can create disks from VHD, I can create a VM, I can do all sorts of interesting things now with System Center Virtual Machine Manager but apart from the System Center integration packs there are others as well that we pulled down if I navigate up this tree and go to Apollo 6.22 you can see that we've got a whole bunch of integration packs for all sorts of different things from including vSphere here at 6.3 we've got IBM, Tivoli, EMC, Computer Center, pretty well the, the major players in here and of course some more things from Microsoft like Microsoft Active Directory and I could for example open that one copy that across into my server and then install that pack just as I did the other ones just now so that's setting up and configuring System Center Orchestrator 2012 Beta in my next screencast we'll start to actually create some workflows in it I've been Andrew Fryer, thank you very much for listening